Humans are used to equating the amount of effort that they offer to the amount of results that they get. And it is backwards because effort is indication of resistance that you believe is there that you're trying to overcome with your action. And that's why the more you're able to be nice to yourself, not only with your behavior, but with your thoughts, then the more you allow yourself to receive the leverage and we mean leverage of the power of the universe. You can play it two ways. You can have a little contrast and know what you want and move toward it and have a little contrast and know what you want and move toward it. Or you could have a little contrast, know what you want, but talk about where you are. So have a little greater contrast and know more what you want, but not move toward it. Just talk about where you are and then have more contrast and launch a stronger rocket. Now there's getting more fuel in this rocket. When you really know what you don't want, you really know what you do want. And when you let go, you fly further. And really you all sort of like the drama of that. That's why it's like you hold yourself apart from it because somehow you prefer the feeling of relief to all other emotions. And we say, hear us, this is the equivalent to that. When you stop hitting yourself over the head with a hammer, it feels good. It's a big relief when the hammering stops, but really? Well, that's all right. Because out of that comes clarity about what you want. You want different things at different times and none of it is wrong. But what happens, have you noticed that once you come to a place where you feel pretty good, you wonder how you ever stood it before you got there. And we say, don't spend too much time reflecting on how far you've come or you set yourself up for more unneeded contrast. Instead, revel in where you are. The best emotional and therefore vibrational attitude is satisfied with what is and eager for more. That's just the perfect understanding of how the universe works. If I feel satisfaction, and where did we remind you that satisfaction comes from? Only one thing, moving, at least pointing in the direction of your desires. So satisfied with where I am because I'm looking forward and eager for what experiences that's going to bring, what I'm going to get to witness. Everything that we've been talking about is an understanding that you are not the rocket fuel. You are not the fuel at all. The law of attraction and the universal forces, that's the fuel. Most people offer all of their action in response to the resistance that they've stirred up with their thoughts. So they have sloppy thinking and create a lot of resistance and then work hard with action to compensate for the resistance. But the more you're able to meditate and chill and appreciate and bask one who is in sync with their inner being and source energy is more powerful than millions who are not. There's just no comparison, but how are you going to know that till you know it? How are you going to want ease until you've been overwhelmed? How are you going to know that? You can't focus yourself into the ease and flow of source energy until you've deprived yourself from it enough to realize that you have felt better and you don't right now. And maybe something different is required from you in order to feel better. But you got to admit how interesting this is. Oh, this is so interesting. Contemplate this just for a moment. So you were born from source energy and you are an extension of source energy, which means you were born from pure love and you are pure love. Just rest with that for a moment. And then you were exposed to contrast, which you did on purpose. And you watched others who got here before you did and forgot their extension. And then you felt negative emotion and then you felt positive emotion and then you felt negative emotion and then you felt positive emotion. So the thing that is of such great interest to us is how any of you could ever give up the desire for feeling good and how you would be willing to replace feeling good with the alternative, the departure from your own guidance system is really what all of our conversations are about and the return to your guidance system and the return to your deliberate living of life experience.
Don't you find it interesting that you are love, you are born as love, it's the dominant vibration that is within you, and it feels so terrible when you're not loving. It feels so terrible to be in a moment of criticizing. Ah, that just feels awful. You know that it does. And yet you acclimate to that feeling. And in the acclimation to that feeling, then you try to control the circumstances rather than just returning to the love. The point that we want to make, that we really want you to be in a vibrational place of hearing is that you can return to the feeling of love easily but you will never be able to control enough circumstances to stop your feeling of opposite of that to try to control the circumstances so that you'll feel better gets you nowhere it's so much easier we've talked about how you've lived enough life to know what you want and what you don't want and you're very clear about what you want and so instead of making a proclamation to yourself and to your non-physical counterpart and guiding yourself by paying attention to the way you feel instead you decide to do it more like other humans do it and you put out a proclamation and these days with social media you can get it out there so you send out a proclamation to everybody on the planet that says this is a picture of me and there's a possibility you might meet me someday and when you do these are the things I need from you please print this off and keep this picture in your pocket and every person meet say is it him is it her is it him is it her it's a lot to ask of the world but it's sort of what you're doing and now here's my list of things that I need please modify your behavior to please me because I was born to be happy or you can just not try to control any of them and you can tune yourself to the frequency of your inner being who is standing in the vibrational reality that you've created and you can stand with all things wanted raining down around you now why would you not choose that we're asking a serious question why would you not choose that well the answer is often what would others think and we say are you kidding those that you needed to control that you can't control now you're still worried about what they think you got to give that up you got to give up trying to cater to the multitudes that have such a variety of trying to control you and need to control you so that they in their ignorance of who they really are can feel a little better we made you feel a little silly about trying to do that and yet most of the world around you that's really the game they're playing they're joining together in groups and they're putting out their memos about how they want to behave and they want the world to conform to them that's never gonna happen because you keep being born as new babes of energy with no intention of conforming you're not born as regurgitators or conformers you're born as creators you're born to appreciate the variety from which you choose that lines you up a very clear picture of what you want and then you intended to use your guidance system to know whether you're leaning in that direction and you can feel by your satisfaction whether you are or your dissatisfaction whether you're not it is not complicated unless you try to include all of the other humans on the planet and convince them of the same if you just do the work that is your work to do you can accomplish it today while we are all here together and you can live happily ever after but if you are concerned about how others are going to view you as you are living happily ever after because there are plenty of humans out there who are suffering so much that if you're not suffering they don't like you you need to suffer otherwise we cannot be friends you're either with me or you're against me and if you don't suffer with me then you don't care about me and Jesus said turn the other cheek do not focus in the direction of the suffering turn in the direction of the well-being if you have decided that you are a creator and you've decided to be deliberate about it rather than creating by default rather than just reacting to life you've decided to get out ahead of it to prepave and to intend and to appreciate and to daydream and you've decided to be a creator
And so you have thought some deliberate thoughts. You've been segment intending long range. I'm going to live happily ever after you've segment intended more short range. I'm going to find a magnificent partner and I'm really going to enjoy life with this person. You've decided a uh, shorter range. I'm going to go on a Mediterranean cruise or I'm going to go to a seminar or I'm going to go to a movie. You've decided more short range. I'm going to go next door and have a really good lunch. Your segment intending as far out as you can do and feel ease while you're doing it. And so because you are getting really good at segment intending, now life is really responding to you in a wonderful way. And because you're segment intending and so many of those things that you have explicitly and personally intended are showing up pretty soon you begin to feel the power of your intentionality and that's the deliciousness the satisfaction factor is a factor on steroids once you start making the conscious correlation between what you intended and what the universe is yielding to you that's just the best that it gets and we're not only talking about these great big things we're talking about the intertwining those things become as meaningful as great big things the way the universe wraps around you and adores you and shows you your well-being in this moment and this moment and this moment and this moment and this moment before long you begin to know your worthiness it's not just this fleeting thought that you're hoping for as a human you stop waiting until you're in heaven hoping that when you get there someone will assign you the having been worthy label instead you realize that your worthiness was always there and lots of times you weren't letting it in but now you figured out how to let it in so you let yourself be loved you see source is loving you but if you don't let yourself be loved you don't know source is loving you you got to turn on your radio and dial it into love and then you feel loved you see yeah so the only reason that you ever feel doubt or fear or any negative emotion is because you're approaching the subject of your desire in opposition to the way your inner being is approaching the subject of your desire that's what emotions are every time you feel negative emotion every time you feel negative emotion it's the rest of us saying that's not how we see this that's not how we see this we know you can do it or have it or be it if you want it why are you letting all that you've lived so far that would be like getting in your car to go somewhere and it's a thousand mile journey and you get out on the road somewhere along the way 200 miles out or 300 miles out or 400 miles out and you say I'm not there yet I'm never gonna get there and then you're so disappointed that you're not there that you just spin around and don't move in the direction of it anymore or worse still turn and go in opposition to it that's ridiculous you know in terms of your physical physics of your world that if you keep moving in the direction that you can get to wherever you're going life is showing you that too we just want you to understand it in the vibrational sense you see you didn't come here to get stuff done you came here for the fun of doing it this desire that you have what is it isn't it always some series of steps moving in the direction of and as the eternal being that you are do you really think that those steps are ever going to end that there's ever going to be an ending to the next and the next and the next and the next of course not there's always the next and 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 the next it is so important that you accept your eternal incompletion we are eternally incomplete that's why we're alive because we're eternally reaching for more you see reaching reaching becoming moving in the direction of and so you say things as humans most people don't mean it when they say it or they don't understand the depth of what they're saying when you say the joy is in the journey well no kidding because the reason for the desire is it points you in the direction of something and gives you a reason for the journey but the journey is the way the universe delivers to you sequence after sequence after sequence to show you that you are seen and that you are heard and that you are loved and that you are worthy that's what your life is wanting you to derive from it all of us from the non-physical perspective are rooting for your finally accepting the I can do anything-ness of your beingness the invincibility of your beingness, you see.